Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the neuroscience of the pseudotumor cerebri, also called idiopathic intracranial hypertension. Okay, so pseudotumor cerebri means that there is no tumor in the brain but there is increased intracranial pressure. So what are the possible causes of pseudotumor cerebri or idiopathic intracranial hypertension? It is seen in obese women. in the childbearing age in the childbearing age okay it is seen in case of chronic renal failure also it may be a manifestation of vitamin A toxicity may be a complication of may be a complication of some medication okay complication of oral contraceptive pill okay okay so these are the possible mechanism possible causes of pseudotumor cerebri okay what are the signs symptoms signs and symptoms will have our patient has headache, visual disturbance, or it may be headache, visual disturbance, and there may be papular edema. Okay, so we got the signs symptoms and certainly we have increased intracranial pressure. With little evidence of enlarged ventricles by CT or MRI. So there is certainly high intracranial pressure but ventricle is not very much enlarged. There is headache and visual disturbances. Okay, so how to manage a patient of pseudotumor cerebri? Management. How to manage management is by means of lumboperitoneal shunting. Fenestration operation to the optic nerve sheet. Fenestration surgery to the optic nerve sheet. Okay, there is the management and management. We know that 
it is due to obesity so weight control okay so people should decrease body weight if person is taking vitamin a vitamin a should be withdrawn if the person is taking the oral contraceptive contraceptive pill that is containing estrogen or progesterone like that or combination that should be withdrawn and this way it is managed again it is mostly idiopathic we don't know the cause but it might be some resistance in the flow of CSF to the suprasciatal sinus through the arachnoid villi this may be a possible mechanism and management by decreasing body weight fenestration to the optic nerve sheath and lumboperitoneal shunting and if the person is a patient of chronic renal failure then management of chronic renal failure okay so that's all about the pseudotumor cerebri if you like my video please support my channel please share the information with your friends and please subscribe me have a nice day bye now